Hi guys, Asmo here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to price check items in PoE. This is one of the most commonly asked questions for streamers and more experienced players. Basically, hey, uh, can you check, can you help me price this item? Hey, how much is this item worth? Hey, is this item worth something or should I just vendor it? Like how much should I charge for this item? How much can I sell this item for? Over and over and over. Everybody gets these questions and it basically stems from people not being sure how to price check their items or sometimes being lazy, too lazy to do it. But if you don't know how to do it, I'm basically gonna go through everything that you can price check and uh, pretty much show you exactly how to see the price. So let's start with something that's maybe a little bit easier, which is uh, something like uniques, right? Uniques are gonna be pretty easy. This is, for example, crystallized omniscience. Um, the first, first thing, you're going to need a tool for this, right? The tool is called Awakened POE Trade. You install Awakened POE Trade. It is totally um, legal. It is, it is not against the terms of service. You're not going to get banned. You can use Awakened POE Trade uh, to price check items. It is totally fine to use it. So you can just download that and use that. And then the second thing that we're going to be using is, of course, the, uh, the trade website for POE, which is going to help us check specific parameters to see how much the item would be worth if it had something else on it, for example, right? If you're trying to craft something and etc. Et uh, so let's look at unique first, right? So if you look like, um, maybe look crystallized omniscience, let's see, I just press control D and it shows me 53X, 54X, 55X. And if you're not sure exactly if these are uh, trustworthy, you can click on the trade here and then it will get you uh, to the trade website and you can see, okay, this was listed seven minutes ago. So it's probably legit. Uh, this was listed a minute ago. So it's probably legit 11 minutes ago. So this is probably the actual price of this item. Sometimes you have someone listed that is like first slot here. You're probably gonna see it in some of the other searches that is like listed 10 days ago, right? That's probably not gonna uh, be something that someone is selling. Someone just pro probably has this in a stash tab and is ignoring all the uh, all the uh, whispers that he's getting. Sometimes it's gonna also say like AFK or, or something like that, right? And that person is just either price fixing or they're not interested in selling the item because they're not really there. They just have the game open, but they're not actually playing the league or something like that, right? But in this case, it looks like it was uh, recently posted and this is like the actual price of this, right? Okay, let's, how about we consider the roles because I have a quite a good uh, role on this item, right? So if we consider the roles, you can look here at the different breakpoints, right? So um, if we uh, check also to consider the roles on this, like the attribute requirements, and if we roll for ex like exactly what I have, which is 24, that goes up a few X, right? Because it's uh, already like requiring some divines to get that high and uh, for some some people, especially if you wanna, uh, if you wanna like uh, use a lot of specific gear that doesn't necessarily give you the stats, it might be uh, a struggle to get as much omniscience as you need to equip your items. Uh, so that's something uh, you can do, right? You can check this. You simply click it, and you can scroll down. You can scroll up, or you can manually type it if you're interested in a specific role, which would be, for example, something that I would do for this, right? Like Black Sun's Crest. If you check this item, it's worth one chaos, right? So you, you like if you if you look at this item right here, this is definitely not worth one chaos. This is worth much more for multiple different reasons. But if I just use the price check macro, it shows me one chaos, right? But that that is not accurate. First of all, we have to consider the uh, enchant, right? Enchant is uh, just on its own, super, super expensive, makes this item much, much, much more expensive because this is an item uh, used primarily by this build, which is Tornado Shot, and uh, it adds secondary projectiles to uh, where, where they like split here, which is very, very powerful. So let's see how much the Enchant adds to this one Chaos Unique, right? The Enchant adds like six Exalted Orbs, right? So this Enchant costs like six X. If we look at the trade, just to see if everything is in order, yeah, this was uploaded. This was uh, updated seven minutes ago, so this is probably the actual price. It's very expensive right now. Not that many people are buying it, but that's how much it costs. Now let's consider the rolls themselves, right? If we don't have the enchant, uh, let's say we don't care about the enchant and we just want the rolls, and we want all the rolls to be like, let's say at least twelve. Okay, so if we do like all the rolls at least twelve. How much would that cost? That is suddenly like 30 chaos, right? If we want to find like a perfect one, let's say I want to buy a perfect one and I want to enchant it myself because I'm a lab runner or something, right? How much would that cost? A perfect one, 4x, and then the next one is 20x. Is the 21x enchanted? Fail to load state. Okay, we got some kind of an error. Let's try again. Let's go to 15, 15, 
15, search, trade, and there we go. Yeah, this one is enchanted, so like a perfect one with the tornado shot enchant is 20x. So you can see big difference from 1 chaos to 20x based on the parameters. So that's how you check them, right? Um, let's now move on to uh, something like a rare item, which is gonna be much more difficult, right? So if I grab a rare item, for example, from here, uh, we can check multiple things. So this one is gonna be a little bit tricky because if I uh, do this, it's not gonna show me the intro, right? Because the intro is fractured, right? And, uh, and the macro doesn't work well with the fractured rolls. So I can simply uh, go to trade and do this on trade, right? So if I look, for example, for a ring, that's gonna have, uh, just let's look at the stats, for example. If I just have the dexterity, the strength, and then int, total uh, intelligence and we type 60 as well because we got 60 of that so if i have that let's say on its own on a ring uh, that's gonna be like 3x right so this would be worth 3x if i didn't have any of the other stats but of course we also have uh, oh it also it counts the life fine if i didn't have the life if i didn't have the life or oh, also actually showing 3x because it's open prefix here so you can just craft the life very easily right so this is like just just the stats for the omniscients are worth like 3x. What if I uh, show that I have like this good base? So let's do the implicit, right? Or let's type even like amethyst ring. Okay, if we type amethyst ring here, it's gonna show only the amethyst ring bases. So let's say someone wants the chaos resistance base. That's gonna, that's gonna be like an extra x premium, right? And then let's say I also want an open prefix for the craft, right? Because I want, uh, I want this, so for example, maximum life, it needs to be an actual roll, not pseudo, because pseudo means uh, that it has uh, the life, it's either crafted or implicit or explicit or all of them combined. Uh, it doesn't care about where the roll comes from. It just cares about, is this stat even present on the item? But if we type um, maximum life, it's gonna be explicit modifier, which are like the normal modifiers on the item right that we have usually that we roll for this is actually not available even if we lower the life to like let's say 50 okay so that it could be uh, crafted then we get a bunch okay there we go this is the first one that i found that actually has a uh, life that is a uh, just a regular roll on it so that it can have crafted minus seven to monocles so this is worth like 10x so this ring that i have is basically very similar to those and it's worth about 10x so i could sell this for maybe 9x if i wanted to right i crafted this ring myself so i don't have interest an interest in selling this but this is worth actually quite a lot right so that's how you check something like that right let's say you found a random item off the ground right let's say you found these boots for example okay let's let's check these boots and let's ignore the implicit modifiers right implicits are the things on top right the searing exarch implicit modifier and eater of worlds implicit let's say i just found the boots and they have 36 fire res 10 lightning res 32 chaos res 30 percent movement speed and then crafted 70 life right so here's what we can check we can check for the movement speed which is like the primary important thing then we can check for the life and this usually gives you some leeway, right? Because you're not always gonna find an item with these exact rolls. And sometimes the item is gonna have also other rolls, which are gonna affect the value of it. So it's not picking immediately like the exact value of 70, because you know, maybe there's an item that has 69 life and it's uh, other than that, just as good. So it should also show you that, right? So that's why this is using that. Let's ignore the evasion because, um, it might be on a different base and the base is not the most important thing once you have the rolls. So let's search for that and see. Okay, so there's like 15 chaos, 20 chaos. Let's see what are how these items look like, right? So we've got crafted life, we got 30% movement speed, chaos res, and uh, some one big resistance, right? So this is similar to having like two smaller resistances. So this item would be worth like 15 chaos, something like that, right? This was listed 14 hours ago. So probably they're not selling very well because at this point people want some something um, stronger than that. People want, people want something like uh, spell suppression, for example, and so on, right? So this is how we could check that. If you wanted to check, for example, uh, how much would it sell if it was 
enchanted with something, right? If you want to just like, hey, I enchanted this in the lab and how much, like, or if I go enchant this in the lab, how much could I uh, have more for this, right? Then you can look, for example, uh, here at um, enchants or you can type, I'm going to show you basically how you can also use this. So uh, if you type tilde, right, which is this like this wavy line, it shows as a straight line, but it's like this wavy line that is next to one on your keyboard. If you type that, you can type approximations of the terms right so if you type ench it's gonna it's gonna do enchants i don't even need to type the whole word right and then i want for example enchant that affects mana right so i type mana and then we go like we have for example uh mana regeneration we've got uh, tons of enchants for uh, mana reservation efficiency so let's say we do enchant with a uh, stun right enchant stun okay chance to avoid being stunned if you killed recently this is an uh, interesting enchant right let's see if i want to search for something like that no results found okay so let's see i want to find boots that have 30 percent movement speed a bunch of life and some elemental res and i want this with this enchant is something like that available it is so we can find boots if we care about for example stun immunity because you don't want to get stunned while mapping you can find something like this right and then if you also have this you can also price uh, price check that right so that's another way to use the search tool now let's go to something uh now let's get some kind of an example from my stash so let's say i have something here that i'm selling um let's say Maybe something like this, right? So let's say we find we find have this quiver. I'm selling this for two exalted orbs. Am I doing it correctly or not? Let's see. So uh, let's see this quiver. So what does it have? It has it has it is a nice base uh, attack speed base. It has chaos damage over time multiplier. It has uh, damage over time multiplier. It has life and poison. So this would be something great for, for example, scourge uh, scourge arrow, right? Or for example, if you wanted to play like a poison based tornado shot, something like that. Something poison chaos damage over time multiplier and so on. Um, so let's see if I uh, price check that. The most important roles, which are gonna apply to most builds, are gonna be the two damage over time modifiers and life. Because, for example, um, toxic rain, cost arrow those builds would also like the these modifiers but they don't necessarily care about the poison so let's ignore the poison for now and that's why we're gonna use only these two rolls and then the life right so we're gonna see okay 10 exalted 16 exalted okay this is so much uh so much currency right but you can see this thing has uh, higher rolls this has um this has 20 damage over time multiplier and 25 damage over time multiplier and also projectiles pierce an additional target which is really good for uh, a caustic arrow for example right so these have much higher roles in here i don't know why it took this um uh, value right i guess it shows like if it has minimum this amount uh but yeah we have much lower amount we have only uh 11 uh, chaos dot multi 11 dot multi and 24 chaos dot multi so the chaos dot multi is t1 but the dot multi is like t3 or t4 or whatever it is right if i hover over this uh it's a t5 even right so it's a much lower roll so it's much less desirable item i listed this for 2x it this it didn't instantly sell which tells me it's probably priced all right right you're gonna notice uh, that a lot of the time you're gonna price items and uh, depending on the meta depending on the price they will sell faster or uh, slower so i'm gonna i wanted to give you an example for example i was selling gloves right i was selling tons of gloves with spell suppression right so um i was rolling gloves and spelling i i have sold maybe like 50 pairs of gloves this league right dragon scale gauntlets were selling very well now they're not selling as well right now you need to actually have really really good rolls because all the people who needed them already bought them because it's been like two three days but for those two three days they've been selling extremely good and extremely quickly anytime i rolled one i put it in the stash tabs five minutes later it's sold right because people really needed that they're also low uh price low price uh uh, threshold right so basically something like 20 to 40 to 50 sometimes like 90 chaos items right so it's like below an exalt price which means it's gonna sell uh, quicker but something like for example this belt which is like cooldown uh, recovery rate with like energy shield and life this is not gonna sell as quickly because this is for a much less popular build much higher price and therefore even if i price it correctly even even if i price it much cheaper than other items of similar power it will still uh, i will still spend a long time sitting with this in my stash until i sell it um, but that's basically what you want to do you want to compare this to other items and then you want to pick maybe slightly high price 
and then if it doesn't sell after a couple hours maybe you can lower that if this is an item that you would expect to be sold in that time frame and then you just lower that over time until it actually sells right you're never gonna find like an exact price for an item like usually if in the case of like more expensive rares and things like that is something that costs let's say like 20 30 eggs something like that's like a very very good rare uh you're gonna spend a long time waiting for this to be sold and you're gonna have to lower the price over time to match other people selling it as well now let's go to another thing that you're gonna be selling for example which is uh, bulk materials right so materials are all these like um these uh, scarabs essences i have no scarabs but i have a shit ton of essences for example so let's do essences if i wanted to sell uh, i'm gonna give you like multiple ways of selling them so if i wanted to sell shrieking essences of hatred for example right Let's use the tool and the tool says this is worth one chaos, right? The tool says this is worth one chaos. However, uh, with materials, you have to consider that if you have significant amount of bulk, people are willing to pay premium. So I have 85 of them, okay? So let's say if I have minimum like 60, how much are people willing to pay? Okay, now they're willing to pay uh, like 1.3 chaos, right? If I have uh, as much as I have, which is like 85, right? People are willing to pay 1.5 chaos for that, right? And then we can also click here, which is the exalted orb, right? And it shows me, okay, what I can sell 60 for an X. And then the second person is 55, right? So now that I see that second person is 55, I can actually lower this to 56, right? And if you don't know how to do this thing, uh, basically what you do, you right click, you set exact price, for example, if you're picking one of those currencies, and then you pick one of whatever you want, so of whatever you want to pick here, and then 56, which is of uh, whatever you're selling, right? So one exalted orb for 56. Another way of putting this is I will sell one of these for 156th of an exalt, right? We have a fraction of an exalt. That's how much one of these, these things will cost, right? So that's how you set these up. And you can do that with anything, right? Um, you can do that with other things. Let's say you had a bunch of scarabs, right? And you wanna, you don't wanna bother selling every single scarab individually. Let's pick, for example, Gilded Breach, okay? So if I wanna sell Gilded Breach scarabs, one scarab costs four chaos. But let's say I have like, uh, let's say I have like 20 of them, okay? So if I have like 20 of them, then then uh, people are willing to pay uh, actually uh, one exalt for 18 of them, right? If I look at chaos, people are paying seven. So if they're paying seven, right, and I have 10 of them, then I can easily just list it for like um, 10, for, ex like for example, 60 chaos, for 10, right? So I would be selling 60 chaos for 10, which means one of each would cost uh, six chaos, but people would not be able to message me from the trade website unless they selected 10. So as soon as I have 10 scarabs here, it will become be basically available for purchase and people will be able to message me. So I don't have to sell one at a time and I can just sell 10 uh, at a time in a bulk, it saves me time and uh, makes it so that I can pri price them for, uh, for a higher price, right? So that's another thing uh, that you can price check. And I think we went over most of the stuff uh, when it comes to currency, Again, you can always look at the price in chaos, right? Which is, uh, for example, we're looking at Awaken Sextant. It costs basically one chaos, maybe a little bit more, 1.5, 1.8, depending on the bulk. The higher you go in bulk, let's say I have like 50 of them, right? Now uh, people actually want to buy like 76 for an exalt. And for chaos, it would be like two chaos per one, right? Maybe a little bit less, maybe 1.5 or 1, 1 1.8. Um, so that's how you can basically price check everything. Um, another thing that you wanna pay attention to sometimes are item levels. So item levels, uh, this, is, this is something that is important for, for example, cluster jewels. So if you're looking for, for example, um, if, let's say like a fizz cluster jewel, right? If I'm looking for a fizz cluster jewel, um, fizz cluster jewel, uh, if I just do this, it shows 40 chaos, right? But if I um, if I don't use the eight passives, right? Now it says one chaos, right? So this is very important. Maximum 
eight passives, 40 chaos. Now if I select item level as, as well, which is this specific item level, now this is 60 chaos, right? Why? Because it's easier to roll the desired mods uh, in this range of item levels, right? So you can also select the item level. And now if I had a specific mods here, then it will show uh, again another price. If I had like three specific um, notables, it will show another price. Do I have like an example here? No, I think I sold all my cluster jewels. Uh, but that's basically, what let's say I have here uh, an example, we have a cluster jewel that is a crit cluster jewel, which costs one chaos. But if I have these two mods together, it costs five chaos, right? So that's why uh, you select these things to uh, to, to sh basically show how much it costs. Uh, also flasks, right? If I, if I just show a quicksilver flask, right? Quicksilver flask, just a quicksilver flask, it's going to cost one alchemy orb. But if I have item level 85, which is the item level that can roll the highest... Um, movement speed on it right then it costs actually one chaos huh it's actually cheaper than i thought uh, I, I thought at this point they will still be worth a little bit more but apparently they're very very cheap let's see jade flasks um i can show you this example right for example i have a flask that is uh, much more expensive if we look at item level oh it's because this doesn't have a okay quicksilver i, di I didn't have the quicksilver selected item level 85 okay there we go five chaos so this is actually worth five chaos because people really want to get the high um, movement speed. And if we look at some good rolls, so I have like granite flask, item level 84, and then we have gain seven charges when you're hit by an enemy and also increased armor during flask effect. So this is a very, very good flask. And this costs about one exalted orb, right? So if you want to make these, you actually can make money making these flasks and rolling them because they're very, very strong because it allows you to basically almost permanently sustain it. Um, I hope I went through everything and explained how you can uh, basically price check items. Uh, definitely use the trade tool. The trade tool, um, like the, the trade website and uh, checking things manually like that is the most reliable way of doing this the macro will just give you like a quick answer but then use these filters and you can in various way uh very various ways filter that you can for example select let's say you want to search for something that doesn't have this modifier it doesn't have this life then you simply click here and click on not right if you want to search for something that has like at least two of these modifiers then you do count and you pick two right and you can enable all of these and it will find something that has at least two of these modifiers right and so on so there are so many different ways you can check if for example item is corrupted or not you can check uh, for example if it's crafted or not an important thing if you're searching for items for yourself and you want to snipe some items that for example you can craft extra resistances on is looking for for example open suffix if you type suffix right you can find empty suffix modifiers empty suffix modifiers uh, will give you items that have basically space so you can see s stands for suffix p stands for prefix so we can see there's three p's and two s's that means there is a space for another resistance if you want to craft it on that right so that's another uh, very helpful search term that you can uh, use that's basically it thank you guys for watching hopefully this has been helpful see you next time bye bye